Hi, welcome back to another one of my videos and I'm really excited to do this video for you guys because uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i really happy because I got a bunch of stuff uh, <laughs> and my good friend over in the States, Matt, uh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I got him to get me a bunch of stuff uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, there's just so many things in front of me here that I don't know where exactly should I start so uh, let me just empty the contents you know of this little bag and put everything out in front of you so yeah uh, I paid my uh, annual dues or monthly dues or however you want to call it uh, even though like uh, Japanese yen is like really 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 uh, not worth anything compared to the US dollars but uh, you know I had some funds uh, in US, uh, US dollars, uh, so I didn't convert um, them to Japanese yen, so I decided to just uh, jump on a couple of stuff because uh, I think they are on sale uh, both here in Japan and uh, in, um, in in US. So I just, uh, yeah, I got bored one night and I just wanted to spend some money, so I got a bunch of uh, maybe, you know, useless stuff, but I don't know. Let's just dive right into it. I'm like, I don't know how many minutes into the video. Let's see, uh, about like, you know, one minute. <laughs> uh, in case you're new to my channel, you might want to consider subscribing. I haven't been doing videos for a long time, and for all you good folks who have been with me for all this while, thank you so much. Um, I'm wearing my, you know, uh, fantastic uh, brand new cap uh, from Swarf Care that I talked about in my previous video. So uh, let's just dive right in. Uh, uh, okay, um, what do you got? Uh, I got myself a PDW, a, what is that, a commemorative uh, dragon patch that I think was like sold out uh, on, on, you know, sold out really fast on the PDW website. Uh, I grabbed like uh, four of these <laughs> awesome dragon patches. Uh, I didn't get these off uh, like PDW website, um, you know, the official website, but I kind of found these uh, on like an online store here in Japan and they're like overly priced. They're not like ripping off anybody. They're like, you know, recommended retail price that I got them for. So lucky. <laughs> these are very much sought after because, you know, 2024 is the year of the dragon. So uh, PDW released uh, these awesome dragon patches. Uh, they do have the square one as well, the um, patch, but, um, you know, I prefer this design. So I got like a couple of bunch of them. Uh, all have been accounted for. So don't ask me um, if I have any of these for sale. And then um, what else did I get? Uh, Basically, I got a bunch of stuff from uh, Countycom. It's a very dangerous website because uh, Countycom offers so many stuff, you know, that uh, you think you don't want, but, you know, you, you probably don't need them, but you just want them. So, uh, I mean, if you have time, if uh, a little bit of spare funds, uh, you have nothing to do, go visit the uh, Countycom uh, website. They, they just have so, so many stuff up there. So, uh, yeah, the first thing, first, uh, I got a uh, Ouija pry bar. Uh, I don't think these are titanium ones. The titanium ones are gone. These are the, a uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, the four inch uh, pry bar. These are like, uh, have been sold out for a long time on the uh, County Com website. These are manufactured by uh, Maratech. Mar Maratech? Yeah, Maratech. Uh, they do have uh, straight and curved and they have like a pico, uh, the, like the three inch, four inch, uh, two inch like mini pry bars, uh, but I, I think they have been sold out for a while for the you know the, the four inch one They do have the small like two inch maybe three inch one They do they used to come in straight and curved, but I've been trying to find uh, this long four inch uh, Pry bar for a long time and I I kind of like uh, found them on a, a website in the US <laughs> So I got my friend Matt. Uh, thank you so much uh, for to grab these for me I got three the website only has three so yeah, and then I got a uh, some other like random stuff as well, like uh, glow in the dark <laughs> dyes. I got two of them uh, for my you know, children, and then I got like a like a glow in the dark gear. <laughs> I don't know to just. Um, I think yeah, I, I might have. I think I got these and the patches uh, from the Japanese store, so I just kind of like want to chalk up on like a certain uh, amount so I can, you know, skip on the sh free shipping. I mean, I can save on the shipping because they provide, pre provide free shipping. So yeah, these are uh, from the Japanese website. Uh, the pry bars are from uh, US. Uh, yeah, these are made in USA. Um, don't think you can find these um, anymore, the uh, four inch ones. And, uh, 
And uh, yeah, I got uh, one of these uh, pocket bellows, um, you know, because, you know, camping, I, I went to, you know, I, every year I, I go camping with my family uh, and friends. So uh, yeah, one of these uh, bellows, I will always wanted one of these, so I just kind of happened to uh, see them, you know, going for a relatively uh, small amount of money. So I jumped on this as well. Yeah, I got these uh, together with all the other stuff that I mentioned earlier from the Japanese website. But this uh, little product is very interesting because why the packaging is so huge, but this this is what you get. So when you open up the package, you get a whole bunch of like useless stuff. And then uh, you take this bellow out. This is basically what you get, but the entire packaging is just going to waste so um i don't know like there's so much information on it there's so much advertising on it but this is basically what you get so um you even get like an instruction booklet so this whoever thought of this design uh, you might want to reduce uh, your carbon footprint just you know pack it small and put like the you know the um instruction manual inside this you know you don't need this because this is going to the waste anyway so yeah uh yeah pocket mallow um basically <laughs> you know you just extend it and then you kind of blow through it to you know um after you get uh, your little tinder you know a little sparks on the tinder you can use this to make a decent fire with it uh and then and, uh, what else did i get i got uh yeah i got the <laughs> there you go this is uh really amazing this is also offered i think today's the 16 yeah these are being offered on a uh, county com this is the generation 3 uh dual sapphire uh halo uh compass uh, it's not uh like a morale compass or anything it's stated on the website but it does points in direction i mean everyone have like a phone these days you know or a watch these days with gps function so uh, chances of you um using this analog compass is pretty low but some people still prefer like uh you know uh, uh own an analog compass and a map, uh, you know, to track the terrain. But I thought this was really, really nice. Uh, I kind of found this uh, um, compass uh, on County Com a couple of years ago when they first uh, had these for sale, the Generation 1, which is like a little bit smaller, like 39 millimeters across the diameter or something. Uh, I didn't thought, you know, I need it or want it or anything but you know it's just pretty nice to have it so i kind of like set set on the fans and i set out on the uh, product all together and then uh many years down the road i've I'm gonna kind of see this uh, float online you know ebay and uh secondhand use sites uh, and uh saw the youtube videos and whatnot i thought it was really 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 beautiful so this time around this year uh i happened to chance upon the website county com again and they were like you know, restocking this generation four version, uh, which has a much smoother, like a uh, needle, and uh, it's slightly bigger than the generation one. Uh, the, now this generation three it has a bigger, like a forty-two millimeter diameter. They even offer it with uh, like a Meritac, a NATO strap, with, and you can strap the compass, uh, you know, like a watch. But I didn't. You know, I didn't want that because I don't, I don't know, you know, like having a compass in your hand doesn't really do much, you know, so I kind of skipped that. Uh, I might want to, you know, this, like this little compass is so cool. Uh, everyone that has seen it, you know, thinks it's really, really cool. Uh, and uh, I think uh, County Com doesn't really uh, stock a lot of these, so you got to wait for them to be available to get them. So, um yeah, I'm probably get you know uh, one more or oh, one more of this uh, down or I don't know. I might want to give this to my son. He really likes it. So yeah, it's a, just a really really cool um, like accessory. I don't really think I'll use it. <laughs> so I mean, I don't really hike or trek up the mountains. I don't really have the time. So yeah, this is uh, more like a bling bling. Uh, it's not really cheap. It's uh, expensive, but it's definitely worth it. It's very beautiful. Uh, it's still in this, in, you know, this original packaging to prevent scratches and not whatnot. And uh, I also got a, uh, what is this? Um, yeah, I got a little like a magnifying uh, like glass. <laughs> also from County Com. Yeah, this little like um, titanium, like a magnifying glass. It still has a protective like a film on the Sapphire Crystal, if I'm not wrong. And there's a little um, O-ring a rubberized uh, glow in the dark o-ring in the middle and then it comes with uh, two different um, like uh, protective case the one is the glow in the dark case it also comes with the orange one that doesn't glow in the dark and a spare like a glow in the dark o-ring uh, 
So uh, it also comes with this uh, very beautiful lanyard, and you can just kind of attach it and then uh, you know pull it out whenever uh, you know necessary. I'm definitely um, keeping this with me for EDC because uh, you know sometimes you just need to you know go up close and look at uh, certain things. You know maybe you got a splinter in your in your hair or something. Maybe you want to see uh, up close of uh, words they can read because, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's really, really useful. And if you want to, you know, maybe start a fire with this, but uh, on a website, uh, they don't recommend you to start a fire with this. I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to do that. I mean, I have other ways of starting fire. <laughs> and then uh, I don't know. Maybe this was included with all the purchase, but this... And I didn't really, I, I didn't get this, you know, but maybe my friend threw it in as a, you know, <laughs> uh, like a free gift or something. It's basically a pen that is in sealed in this airtight, uh, watertight uh, container. So, yeah, <laughs> maybe, you know, you send it, you gave this to me for free. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> you, my, my good friend Matt always includes some random stuff in it in my in a little package that i i get <laughs> from the states <laughs> so thank you so much man and i got two of this are uh, oh, a macpoo daca can 2.0 uh these are the regular size one i didn't get the large one because uh my regular glasses uh the little case that comes with the glasses kind of like the little snap button um broke so uh, i was looking for a case and i always wanted this macpoo um like darker cans uh so you know why not you know just uh, grab these uh you know get my friend to grab these uh, online for me i got two in uh you know a uh, few dark earth um not really like coyote tan or anything but few dark earth they do have these in a few colors but uh most of the colors are being sold out so they do come in a black uh, few dark earth uh olive uh, drab gray and uh gray uh, no orange for this, um, so I got a few dark earth. I have one here that is open. These are the 2.0 uh, new versions. I don't have the first version, so I can't really talk about it. Uh, it's really well made, a uh, high grade polymer as expected from uh, you know a MacPoo. Their products are really fantastic. Uh, there's a little catch here. You kind of like um, yeah, pop it open, and inside is a uh, line with this a little bit of a cushioning. So it's gonna protect your glasses, uh, and then uh, on the back here, there are like a little squares that you can kind of, you know, these little dots that you can write uh, your in initial numbers or anything to customize it. Um, and basically, yeah, that's it. You know, I have a like a like a, a lens cleaning cloth for my glasses, so yeah, fits uh, right in there. Um, my you know, regular prescription glasses, I'm using a Ray-Ban Wayfarer, so it fits here, uh, you know, really really well. But uh, it's it was a little bit on the big side, so when you have your glasses inside, it's gonna rattle, like uh, you know, when you transport it. So you might wanna add a little bit of uh, more cushioning inside to you know, reduce the noise. Uh, I don't suppose it will like break the glasses in any way. It's all padded and soft on the inside. So yeah, few dark earth, a little dark. Uh, not really coyote tan, but it's a little dark. Um, but I, you know, I like it. Um, offers a uh, ultimate protection for your glasses. So yeah, I got two of these. Uh, a MacPoo Daca cans. I'm a huge fan of uh, MacPoo Daca products, and uh, I went on to pick up uh, more of this uh, MacPoo. Uh, what is that? The Daca window pouch in small. Uh, a while back, uh, I think I did a video on a bunch of stuff that I got from MacPoo as well. I um, mean, um, yeah, from the states as well. So uh, I didn't know which one should I get. So I got the MacPoo a uh, window pouch in small, medium, and large. And after using them for like, you know, a while, <laughs> a couple of years, um, the small, it's probably for my uh, person to use the easiest to, uh, the one that I use the most, a medium, it's uh, not too bad. Large, I uh, hardly use large because um, it's, um, you know, I can't really find the perfect uh, stuff to fit in it. But uh, the small, I usually put like a mask because in case somebody's feeling uh, I'm well if I you know I need a mask or something I mean now COVID is almost like unheard of so but I still carry a mask uh, just in case you know I mean, cause I'm in Japan so why not you know <laughs> sometimes you don't want to talk to anybody you just wear a mask uh, yeah you know yeah just I uh, keep a mask in there and then I uh, keep us other small items in there the small for me it's the easiest of use uh, and uh, like all make food products uh, they're very well made I have uh, read some reviews uh, of these uh, pouches uh, delaminating over the years but I don't live in like hot uh, tropical climate um, 
countries uh, in Singapore, like uh, Malaysia, Thailand anymore. I mean, I'm in Japan, so we, we go through four seasons, you know, cold, hot, and high humidity, low humidity. So uh, my, these pouches are holding up really well. Uh, you've done, I basically use them every day. Uh, I mean, not out in the field, but it's always in my backpack, so I don't uh, subject them to like uh, UV rays or whatnot. It's still holding up great, no delamination, nothing. The zippers are working fine, the, you know, rubber coated. Uh, what is that? Um, guard is totally doing fine. So yeah, basically, um, MacPoo products. You know, um, I really like them. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do have um, uh, other products, uh, MacPoo products that, that I use as well. The organizer pouch. Uh, I've been using it for a long time. Um, still holding up. Not nothing broken. Um, so yeah, basically, um, this is a whole bunch of stuff that I got <laughs> recently. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this really really short video. Um, it's not really a review video, but it's just kind of all the EDC stuff that I kind of got recently. This is the real, the one that um, I would say the icing on the top of the cake. This is really, really, really beautiful. I mean, to see it up close, to hold it in your hand, it's amazing. <laughs> so I think, um, yeah, if um, anyone should, um, you know, spend a little bit of money to get something, uh, I would suggest you hit down to Conycom and I uh, grab one of these uh, Dual Sapphire Halum or uh, compass heirloom compass yeah this is so beautiful i think uh, it's on sale on like a Ma may 15 which is like <laughs> yeah you know, it's gonna be you know um gone really soon and uh last but not least uh i ordered a crease reef uh in cozy small within single blade of uh what is that the crease reef website uh i think like three years ago and finally finally i sent them an email recently asking about my orders and uh it's uh um, yeah they collected the payment i paid them up front and then uh it's going to production so i'm gonna get my crease reef um like uh in cozy small within single blade with the gold start soon i'm probably gonna do a video uh on that um but you know back then when i ordered the knife the wait time the the wait time for the in in, in cozy was like two years and then uh, last year I checked was like four years. And last night when I checked uh, the Chris Reef website for the if you, if you do what you order the direct from them, um, the wait time for the Incos is six point five years. So like wow, you know, over the years, uh, Chris Reef knives has uh, such a high demand. So uh, you can probably get them elsewhere like Blade HQ and uh, other places. But if you order direct from Chris Reef website, it's the lead time, the wait time is just so long. But the good thing is, um, you know, they don't collect the money up front uh, when you order, uh, when they're ready to, when Chris Reef uh, knives are ready to process your order, they'll send you an email and then you pay them and then the, you know, the order will go into production. So um, you only pay when the time it's, you know, for you to get your knife. So, but, you know, 6.5 years, that's a long time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will be finally getting uh, the uh, Inkosi. <laughs> I got a plain Jane, so, because, uh, uh, you know, back then I was introduced uh, to Chris Reef Nice by uh, my good friend Taylor Weldon, um, you know, the um, leader of uh, Karyology. Uh, so, I got uh, one off uh, someone in the States, a brand new one in the S35 uh, V bla uh, metal blade or something, <laughs> I can't really remember. Uh, basically, I got a small Inkosi with the drop point blade and a black micarta. And uh, I've been using it like uh, as and when, you know, in some of my unboxing videos, you seen that knife, you know, so, so I, that, that, that was my first uh, Chris Reef knife. I really, really, really like it. I didn't want to get a large one. I still like the small one. So um, I, I ordered, you know, um, like the Chris Reef uh, Inkosi first and then I went online and got <laughs> the other, uh, the, the, my car, the blade. And uh, now I'm just contemplating if I should just order uh, like a Savenza 31 or something because uh, you know, so Ben uh, is like the workhorse of Chris Reef Knife. Uh, I don't know. Um, I want to get uh, one more um, yeah, in Kelsey. Uh, just put in an order and six years, uh, seven years, ten years later, I would just pay for it because uh, I will be giving uh, a small knife to my boys, uh, one to each of them because I have two little boys. Uh, one of them is already like 11. So, uh, you know, I think every... A boy, maybe not a girl, but maybe every boy should have, you know, like a nice uh, pry bar, a uh, nice compass, uh, and a nice blade, you know, in the future. So, you know, just kind of aid them in certain things they do. Um, I, 
don't know. I mean, they will go like outdoors and open letters and boxes. But every, you know, like um, a boy should have a nice set of tools, uh, you know, EDC stuff, you know. And it's always good to start them young, you know. I mean, yeah, that's what uh, crazy daddies do when they have time. So, yeah, thank you so much for checking out my videos. I'm mean, like 20 minutes on the video. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, you know, listening to my rant uh, until, you know, all this... Um, you know, this entire video, I'm so excited, I'm happy. Uh, right here, I'm in Japan. Uh, uh, we're heading into like, uh, what is that? The Tsuyu, which is the rainy season in June. Uh, I hope, you know, you guys are doing great from wherever you are in the world. Uh, if you have any comments or anything uh, you want to ask me, uh, drop me a, a, a DM or something. Or leave a, a comment, you know, but be nice, you know, try not to be rude. Um, I don't know. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, I wore my um, really nice Adidas jacket that I got for a long time, but I didn't really wear it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, take care, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.